The new Spider-Man 2 update has divided opinions. Some people hate it, some people love it. Today, we find out what we could have gotten in this update and all the insane features that are missing. Let's be real. During the five month wait for this update, all the features we are about to discuss could have been added. But we do have to consider the data breach definitely impacted this game heavily. So I have no intentions to hate on this game. And these are just my honest thoughts. As you might know already, I don't just agree with all the videos here on YouTube just so I don't get hate comments. I prefer to be straight up and listen to those who dislike Spider-Man 2 and those who love it. Let's now find out what features we've missed out on. Quickly give this video a like rating, not just because I want you to, but so that Insomniac will see videos like this one and hopefully add all the requested features in a future update. And these aren't just my ideas. I've also used great ideas from your comments made on my previous videos. So let's get into this. 100% new game plus suit or reward come on the nerds like me who have spent countless hours on this game on ultimate difficulty deserve some sort of reward even the first game had a reward for completing the new game plus and don't get me wrong it was the literal dog water your mum drinks from we're not expecting free roam as venom that would be one way of piercing a hole through my boxer shorts in a matter of seconds a new suit or just some sort of unlockable would be nice when reaching the 100% on the new game plus Otherwise, a lot of people just won't bother doing it. Toggle Peter's symbiote voice lines. Some of the lines are so badass, especially during combat in the open world. Be thankful any of you can still walk. Talk about weak. The breaking. I'll break them. Just try and sit another stake out! It feels so wasted that we don't hear them again once completing the game, regardless of choosing the symbiote suit or not. A bit like changing the open world soundtrack in the start menu, it would be great if we could toggle on or off Bully Maguire. When using the symbiote suits, all I want to hear is Bully Maguire saying how he's going to throw dirt in some eyes. Please add this feature, we really need it. But there is actually a way to get Peter's symbiote voice lines once you complete the game. Thanks to this YouTuber on screen, he found a way of doing this. It is a glitch, but it's not difficult to do. I will leave a link to his video in the description. Make sure to check it out after watching this one. DLCs. To put it in perspective, the first game had the DLCs out within a month of the game's release. You definitely can blame the data breach for the delay, but getting an announcement or date would be great. Since release, we haven't heard anything regarding DLCs, literally nothing. I feel it's important to announce the release date, as it's something that people can look forward to. I can bet my nan's bed slats that people will be bored of this game again in the next few weeks or less, and the drop-off will be huge. To keep people's interest, release the date. The leaks could be the reason for not announcing the DLC yet. Better communication with the fans would be appreciated though. The first game game had a clear structure of how many DLCs there would be and when they would be released. But with Spider-Man 2, it feels like we're just in limbo, with no plan or structure going forward. More random crimes. So the biggest problem with Spider-Man 2 is once you complete it, it gets boring real quick. Well, that's if you haven't smashed your controller into your neighbor's balding bastard head when you fail under construction on gold for the 69th time. Jesus. This is a big issue with most single player games. It gets boring once you complete it. With Spider-Man 2, there has to be more things to do in the game to keep you hooked or make you want to pick it up again once finishing it. The same old random crimes get boring far too too quickly. There has to be more variety. How many times do you have to pick up people and take them to the hospital in this game? Do the paramedics just do piss all in this game or something? Ideally, more crimes should be added on a regular basis, or maybe just loads of them added all at once. It would also be great if we could toggle on or off the symbiote random crimes, as it can be annoying when you're fighting some normal bad guys and this dumpy looking freak turns up. It's irritating as these things are OP as hell. I don't mind the challenge, but they seem to turn up far too often. Being able to turn these freak bastards off would be a nice touch. In general, more unique random crimes is one way to keep players engaged after finishing the game. But I do wish there was something else 
that could be done to keep us playing. All the Spider-Man games so far have struggled with this. And to be honest, so does most single player games. I feel like this is one of the most important areas that needs improvement going forward with future Spider-Man games. This is definitely one of the more important features I do think should be added though. Change the weather. This speaks for itself. Changing the time of day is great, but not being able to free roam in the rain at night with the black suit really sucks. I want to come out the shadows and make enemies cack their pants, leaving literal skid marks. The way to do this is allowing us to change the weather. All previous suits added. I've seen this requested across social media quite a lot and it can't be too difficult to port previous suits over to this game but let's be real here we do have a lot of suits to choose from already and how many suits do you actually use I could probably count on one hand how many suits I actually use you might be different though regardless I will never turn down more but do comment below how many you actually use multiple symbiote colors it's a very small detail but now that we have red symbiote suits in the game being able to change the color of the abilities would be appreciated as black or white doesn't look as good with the red suits To be honest, I want to slap some baldies up with dog dick red tendrils. It's a simple but very cool feature that should be added. Change the colour of web wings. Some suits look the bollocks, but when you whip out the old web wings, your rod on becomes non-existent as some suits have weird looking web wings that don't really look right with a particular suit. Being able to change the colour would eliminate that issue. Little customization options like this go a long way and should not be overlooked. Choose web colour. This function is already in the game, technically. Allow us to spin black webs when playing as Miles if we want to. Something like this could be added faster than my dick rises every time I look at the 19 inches. It's another very small feature that I think people would really appreciate. So we've tried to be realistic here. We aren't asking for ridiculous stuff that would take months to develop into the game. I truly believe if we got all these features in the new game plus update, not a single nerd like me would have been disappointed. But maybe I'm not asking for enough. Comment down below your thoughts and any features you want in the game. Let's hope we see these features added. Make sure to like the video so Insomniac potentially sees it. And if you would like to see my video where we dive into the new game plus update and whether it was disappointing or not, and I do believe it was as honest as possible, make sure to click the card on screen. You don't want to miss that video. Thank you guys for watching as always and have a great rest of your day.